Critical Botch is now sponsored by Norse Foundry, the creators of Brandon's enormous custom D20 he's rolled on his entrance. And now they bring their carefully custom crafted click clacks to the Critical Botch table by providing each of the players with their own D20. Thanks, Norse Foundry. Now this group of murder hobos can roll for initiative in style. What's up, everybody? How are we all doing? Oh, I'm good. Critical oh, botch hey. time. Hey. Hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Hi. How is everyone? How's everybody doing? Everybody doing tonight? Oh, good. Good. So. Welcome to Critical Botch. Are we talking to each other First right wrestlers. now? First wrestlers. People that are watching. Every, everybody <laughs> can hear everybody right now. Drew Brees just scored another rushing touchdown. How, holy cow, guys. Oh, there you that's go. what the Dungeons and Dragons people want to hear. A lot of crossover. <laughs> a lot of crossover. <laughs> hey, when would I use this 12 sided dice? Uh, there's some spells that you'd be doing that. Some of them. I think Never... for like, that's like bigger weapons, too, like hammers go. and stuff, right? Maybe? Yeah. And, and like I said, some spells, some of that. Almost never, in all honesty, especially in the levels I think you guys are at. Not really too much. But hey, if you guys saw, the, the sponsor we have, Norse Foundry, gave everybody some dice. Hey, look at that. I don't know. The what whole crew around. has it. You <laughs> lose it already? Your no, cool, we're around. I just oh, look okay. at that. Your cool Cole, teal one. It's, it's, oh. it's with your background. Colt has a green oh, wow. screen. Colt, is your bag green? He has a green yeah. screen that he has been <laughs> having some fun with. As you see, he's... <laughs> it's going to be a whole thing. <laughs> Also, Absolutely. thanks to everyone that submitted art for that awesome little slideshow we had before the show. That was really cool. We've all been viewing the art. I always text it to the group. A lot of fun seeing that. I especially love the one that came out, I believe, yesterday with the whole little comic strip with Christopher Yaga. She got this one. Yeah, that was really good. All right, I'm ready. Yeah, okay. Tell me about it. You guys are chasing a green dragon who is uh, with your friend Yuri, the gold dragon you saved. Your best friend uh, yeah, with the Canadian accent. Uh, uh, you're you're him we lost him, yeah. All the way to where you found a house. Your horses went missing, but you found a house where Christopher Yaga and his wife Baba were there. They offered you uh, some some sales. You guys went inside. Uh, upon hearing some of the sales pitch, you wall you walloped them with your your hammer there, Rick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> went hard on them. Uh, erupted into a little brawl inside the house. While the brawl's happening, the house up and walked on its chicken legs. <laughs> So as the brawl's in the middle of it, you guys all one by one start jumping out of the house uh, to safety. But uh, in doing so, you guys are really lost now in the forest uh, as you collect your bearings. You got no roads or paths around you. Your spells are pretty much depleted at this point. Uh, and then some of you took a good amount of damage, but drank potions that healed you <laughs> beyond Thanks, what you could take on your threshold. <laughs> or, or Copper thinks, so. who gave that to me? Me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks, cops. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are just dead in the middle of the forest. And like I said, you're, you're kind of just spent, uh, at least the spellcasters. I know you guys used up your spells. Um, well, hey, I think now's the time for a little inspiration from your old friend, Haffy. There you go. Yeah. Sing All us right. a tune about finding Yuri. I want to find Yuri. Sing us a song. You know, the piano, man. Uh, that's my job, DM. Okay. Uh, do uh, Rick, in what style would you like this song done to? Roy Options. Billy Joel, uh, man. He already brought up Billy Joel. You got to do okay. Billy Joel. Uh, okay. This is, you didn't think I was going to do this Billy Joel, but I'll do this Billy Joel. Uh, in a forest, can't find where we are. Got to find where he's at. Where's it going to be? We don't know, but we do know that thing. Uh, it's the end of wait. That's Aria. That's Aria. <laughs> oh, I know what you were talking about. I, was, I thought you were gonna go with that. Uh, uh, what's that it. song called? What's it called? I am Cuckoo it, Chew. The end. Call about a day. Did it do? I can't take it anymore. That one. We didn't start the fire. We didn't start the fire. We didn't start the forest fire. And we oh, hey, easy, easy, water. easy. That's really happening in California, man. Oh, yeah, well, not, I'm, in, on. A, I'm in a magical world right now, Doc Martin. <laughs> right? Give me some in uptown, girl. <laughs> All right. 
Hey, while he's right. singing, I think we should make three tents. Me and Laurel, I will be in one. You guys divide up who we want in the other tent. <laughs> need my own tent. By... We're going to start with a nap? Yeah, I want you guys to heal up, get your spells back. <laughs> Can I roll to see how many hours I'll sleep? <laughs> no. <laughs> I have a ten-sided die. It's perfect, right? Uh, I mean, you're going to sleep. It's, all, it's really depending on if something disrupts your sleep. I don't think it's really going to be much. Ben, on... I sleep 10 okay, hours. I'll, I'll remember that. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. All right. Let's all, I sleep, let's all 10 sleep. Hours. You set up your own tents. So, yeah, you guys are setting up a little camp? Yep. <laughs> what time is Isn't it daytime? It's like, you, wait, you, don't, you don't sleep in the daytime? <laughs> I sleep in the daytime all the time. The first half of the day. Uh, no, it's okay, kind of it's it's more towards the end of the night now. All right, let's take a nap. You guys, guys sure. Take, Great start. Ready to, take a night. Ready nap. to pitch a tent. Eight hour night night nice. nap. Nice. Yeah, I want I want I want to, I want us to nap enough for spells to come back to my fellow uh, companions. There you go. All right, that's a good call. Very I good, rolled a good. nine, which is more sleep than I've ever got in my okay, life. Well, b- I'm before you guys keep rolling <laughs> a bunch of stuff, uh, roll. You don't a, have to roll for sleep. Right? Roll a survival check, though. I want to see how well you guys set up your camp and whatnot, and how much you fend off, like you know, your roaming critters or something like that. Ooh, nineteen plus three for a twenty-two for the for your friend Copper. Dang. Carter's got a fifty-yard attempt for the game right here. Five seconds left in the fourth. I rolled a okay. one for survival. <laughs> what do we? Oh, he made it. Charges went. No, he bipped it. It hit the post. Are we rolling the twenty? Fifteen. Well, what happened? Yeah. I minimized the zoom, and then everything went away in the chat. Fifteen oh my survival. Oh, zoom's ruined. No, I just uh, messed it up myself. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I, got a God right now. I love the botches. All was happening with the botches. I got a here. twelve. Brandon, Brandon's trying to fix the uh, stuff. My twelve. I need to. I need him to know my twelve, though. Botch, botch, botch. I'm just saving botch. Yeah. That's <laughs> so you said true. I accidentally time. I clicked on the Zoom meeting and it minimized it, and then so it takes away all the cameras off of the overlay. Oh, good. So they Are can hear us still. <laughs> oh, you did. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, Brandon. Right. Did they I hear mean, us? I'm really. Yeah, they, yeah, they can hear still us. hear us. What what video game are you gonna play, Chuck Taylor? There we go. All right. Wait, it's pretty true. We're all turning on. We're all on the, feed, the Twitch feed. All right, I'm so going I can back. I'm going name. back. I gotta get you guys all one by one. Hold on here. Wait, but we're, we're all sleeping, so this makes sense. <laughs> yeah, we're sleeping, right? <laughs> you guys didn't want to sleep. Look at uh, them. This is this is as good as it gets, right? Look at that. You guys all popping <laughs> in one by one. Starring that one guy. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Good old OBS doesn't do an automatic refresh. I had to go through and refresh everyone's individual screen. <laughs> All right. So what did everybody get again? Let's... 22. 22. Very high. What do we 15. add to it? 15. 15. Uh, survival. Your survival. Are you 20 insured? overall. Are you insured? Our tent's the best tent. By survival. <laughs> oh, I rolled a one. I rolled a I one. I got 17. 91. Okay. 17. Oh, my disguise doesn't show up. How does Doc Martin have video games in the forest? <laughs> oh, that's so disrespectful, man. Jeez. You're in Wrigley Field, man. No way. These are I'm turning, on, I'm, I'm turning on the Twitch stream All so right, I can so see what people are saying You guys set up a pretty, pretty good camping situation here. You get a little campfire going. There we go. Uh, oh, this guy did show up. Are you guys doing any kind of Shit. watches at all through the night, or are you all just going to sleep at the same time? Yeah, I've got a Rolex. All right. Oh my god. I I only need to sleep four hours so I can take a watch. Oh nice, yeah, as a as an elf. Uh I wanna sleep as much as possible. I'm a I'm a turtle. <laughs> I'm a turtle, so I could just pull myself into my shell, I think. There you no, go. you died last time you did that. Man. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Orc turned me into a puppet. So how I'll, long I'll, are we how long are we sleeping? Because I can no. watch for four hours. You, you need at least eight hours to get your your uh your so stuff back. I can w- take watch for half of the time. All right, I'll have... I'll take watch uh, the other half. Do we have watch? Do we have to roll for a watch? What is that? Just to see in case you know somebody pizza, comes. Somebody's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Anymore, Bobby. All right, so roll, roll some perception checks for those of you who are who are watching. Is it okay Jeez, if I sleep on my lot. stomach, Brandon? 21 yeah. overall. I mean, if your character likes it. 
21. Jeez, nice. I know it's bad for your back, but that's how I like to sleep. I used to be able to sleep. This is one of my actual, like, (laughs) things I have. So (laughs) as it's, uh, as the night's kind of going on, um, nothing really comes, like, up to your thing, but, like, with your perception, you see far kind of in the forest, like, like a moving creature through some of the, like the the trees, like you just. So that's have night vision thing. too. Yeah, okay. well, it's far far enough away that you don't see okay. what it is, but you see a figure moving kind of through. Rick, don't try to kill it. <laughs> I'm not. It's probably. I do not tell anyone yet. I'm just I'm keeping sleeping. an eye out, make sure yeah. it doesn't get any closer. So I right, is is Lorelai gonna do four hours and then I'll I'll do the other four. Good. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Dude, I've got a long rest feature. Yeah, that's how you get your <laughs> stats back, is a long rest. I am laughing. That's what you guys are doing right now. <laughs> Great feature. Um, okay, did you want to go and see anything further on that? you got to just kind of let it pass? We're going to let it pass. Okay. The creature? Yeah, they yeah. saw a creature in the What night. if it's Yuri, though? That's all right. I wouldn't want to go without you guys. Rick, I'm not, wake us up. I'm not, I'm not gonna wake you up uh, in this. No, okay. I want you guys to sleep. I can't. I can't even talk. I'm sleeping. Rick, how'd you get that bird feature on your Zoom? <laughs> <laughs> it's my bird costume. It was a joke before. We can't redo it. <laughs> they were they were cracking up. Pepper Nash plays on the on the floor almost with that. One. <laughs> so it's, just, it's, just, it's as close as I can get to a bird. <laughs> <laughs> So stupid. <laughs> There's no beaks, none of that. Um, so yeah, uh, the the morning comes. You guys all kind of wake up. If you're sleeping in, maybe you don't wake up too early then. But um, you yeah, guys, I got a long rest bonus action. There you go. Uh, so you get your long rest. You guys get all your your health back. You get all your spell slots back and stuff. So uh, any of you that have spells, you're at your max now that you can be doing again. Uh, the morning's coming. Birds are chirping. Everything you guys are hearing the 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 forest sounds. Wait, is that Rick? Is he chirping? I just woke oh up. God. No, not yet. He just said you're chirping. I'm a bird man. Do you have any Do you have any friends that are chirping to you out there? You should roll and see if any of those are your friends or family. <laughs> oh my god! What? I mean, do I talk to animal power, or am I just a regular bird? You man? are an animal. You're a- Bird man, it doesn't necessarily mean. I mean, Colt is just Animal. pulling your leg, I believe, at the moment. Yeah, you have your languages on your sheet. Where hey, uh, let's. Hey, let's. Let's. Hey, Lorelai, I pull Lorelai aside. All right. Typical. Okay. Uh, and I say, Hey, Lorelai, I think Rick's feeling kind of down after he got murdered and smashed his head into a rock when he was a squirrel. I think. I think he really wants to find Yuri, and I kind of too. Should we look around and see if we can find any tracks for Yuri? Okay. Because I know you're, I know you're a ranger, and 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 you have. I mean, are we are we wanting to kill Yuri, or are we wanting to explore well, this dragonborn thing? We want to explore the dragonborn thing, and I think Yuri is our best option. That I 100 percent agree with you on that. So, all hey, right, can- I'll I'll look for for tracks. For sure. I didn't hear any of that. You guys want to find Yuri? Uh, who was the one that saw the animal? Me or or me? Yeah. Uh, it, it was you, Leva or Lorelai. Okay. I also saw a creature last night while while I was on watch. So I don't I don't think it was Yuri, but it's hard to tell. It was really far away, so that's why I didn't wake you guys up. I want closer. I want to grab her by the hand and say, "You didn't wake me up right away." Well, I wanted you to rest. You weren't oh. getting a lot of sleep. You're only getting like half of the sleep you need to get. So I want to I, rest. I sigh, but in a playful way. <laughs> I love it. All right, let me find these tracks real quick. <laughs> All right. Hey, I have talk? a question Is, for my friend with Rick. Private? <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Who's Who's Yuri again? He Yuri was the, was the one with the Canadian accent. Dragon, he was one of the lizards. Gold, he was the one dragonborn. that was good. Getting... He was the oh, gold dragon. Saw... Uh, we're double talking. Guy. Sorry. Okay. He was gold. We saved him. He was getting green. Dragon was puking into his face. But then we sent him through the doors to die, and then he ran away. No, he stayed with us. Then he jumped out of the Baba Yaga house, and then he ran away. Gotcha. Okay. Is it an investigation? Cool, what am I rolling for tracks? Um. Yeah. Doing an, track. an investigation. 
I want to walk over to Rick while she's investigating and put my hand on his bird shoulder and say, hey, listen, I know you're really sad about Yuri, so I asked Lorelai to give us a hand and, and take a look for tracks. Oh, really? Did you guys talk about anything else? I mean, I grabbed her hand. I think we're moving forward as, you know, between our chemistry, but. You have a okay, chemistry, that's, but? That's, that's good, too. I'm excited about Yuri. Thanks, man. <laughs> 23 overall. Roll to 17. <laughs> Okay, nice. Um, yeah, as you're kind of uh, my new, my going, new die is awesome, by the way. <laughs> it looks great. As you're kind of uh, going through, um, you do start coming up, up on tracks, um, but it it's not like a dragonborn like feet tracks. You end up finding um, like tracks. You you can't tell what they are at, at the moment, but you see there's like a decent amount of them. Like there's maybe you would guess there's like a group of four or more people traveling towards a certain direction Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> and like... the direction that is heading does it look ominous <laughs> where, where is, is it fog? heading like towards <laughs> southeast west towards town um not not really i mean at this point you guys don't know exactly where town even is because how you were in that house and it traveled around with you in oh, it yeah, so okay. you're just kind of you don't know which way exactly. I mean, you, you, maybe you know the direction or something, but like you don't know which way town is from where you are. Okay. Should we yeah. not worry about the house that we were in that fucking ran away? No, that's Should we not fine. worry about that? They're gone. Go. Uh, because gone. that was just a shop and they wanted to kill us. Oh. Hey, uh, yeah. okay. I need to... I report back to to the group. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Actually, I go, to, I go to Copper first. Hey, Copper. What's up, babe? I, uh, the tracks I found... We're not Yuri's, but it was a group of like maybe four creatures of some sort. Maybe humanoid, maybe not. All traveling together. It's a pack of four. So I don't know if you want to pursue this or if you want to. I want to turn around and in front of her count the rest of our group members. So that I, I, I count there's one, two, three, four, five, six of us and only four of them. I say we go after them. Are we in this can, conversation yet? Yeah, can we hear this? Are you guys being private again? I'm We're still being private always. <laughs> Rick, I wonder what they're talking about. Yeah, just between me and you, I don't know. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'd say, Lorelai, you should tell the rest of the group, let's get after these clowns. Okay. All right, hey, guys. Um, yes? I was asked to look mm. for, for tracks. Maybe for Yuri, maybe for whatever. Uh, I did see a creature last night that was really far away. I followed tracks, and I found tracks about a group of four. Humanoid-ish? Could be humans? Could be other creatures of sorts? Well, I will you know say it four? does seem like it might be a mix. of like There's yeah. some smaller steps, some, bi some bigger. Yeah, yeah, definitely not giant. There was four um, different distinctive footprints? footprints? I'd say you could probably discern there was like maybe two or three, two two different for sure, maybe a third different type. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, not like Rick's bird foot. Let's get them. Mm. So, I mean, I don't I don't know if they're the good guys, bad guys. I don't know if they're even guys. But I've... we can follow and see where it goes since we have no idea what we're doing right now. Since... Let's do it. So... Let's follow the tracks. Hold on, my guy wasn't paying attention. Could somebody retell the whole thing to me again? <laughs> he, he was just flying, oh, yeah, taking yeah. a morning. <laughs> I was having a goof. Let's, yeah, let's get him, guys. <laughs> uh, okay, so Wait, do we do we want to get them or do we just want to like check out Speed. the sitch? I, just, I said we yeah. check it out. We yeah. spy, spy stuff. I mean, maybe yeah, something. Yeah, I mean, he's stuff. dressed perfectly for spy stuff. Yeah, I could sneak in, no problem. Let's go check it out. Yeah, Let's feel, go sneak it out. Feel like Let's see what it is. Trent is I mean, what else are we going like to do right now? Copper at the moment. Um, okay, so uh, let us let me look at a sheet here. You want to get in my car? To roll. I say we just nap this one out. Just nap it all out. Two hours down for more sleep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I do have a uh, long rest bonus action. I know a B&B &B yeah, that we can all reserve What's room. a bonus action? One point bonus action. <laughs> Two is backslash long rest. Work. <laughs> so are we, what are we doing? Are we walking towards the, are we hey, following the can, tracks? Can I ask Copper Nightflare a question real quick? What's up, bud? You don't have hey, my do permission. You, do you want to ride to the airport tomorrow? I'll probably leave about two. Yeah, okay, yes, please. All right, cool. All right, that's all. So I was supposed to do that earlier. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I love it. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, let's let's do a uh, a nature check. Get you guys, whoever wants to try and get a nature check, if you feel like you're you're good at it. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Follow these. I'll do it. Ooh, right. I rolled a twenty. Twenty. <laughs> I rolled a twenty. Oh hey. my god. There we go. There we go. On your new dice, right? Oh, on a different one. Yeah. Come on. Well, I've been holding this because everyone's rolling so well, I didn't want to take my chance. So oh, I, I legit have, I don't know if you guys can see, I have a lot of die. Jeez. So I just pick and choose them. So. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of die. Hey, Brandon, can I whistle for a ginger snap? I know I know it's not around, uh, the horse isn't around, but I just want to try. All right, do a, a performance check when you do it. 15 plus 3, it's 18. Nice. Total. Pretty good. Uh, as soon as you start, well, what's the whistle sound like? Let's hear it. What do you? What's the ginger snaps whistle? <laughs> that work? That was really good. That was really good. Yeah, was, I mean, you do that, and just as you uh, do that, though, uh, that's when Lorelai sees something up ahead. She's like, Shut up! <laughs> um, up ahead, you see it, in the uh, trees and stuff, it, it, in the breaks of them, there's like it looks like a wooden fence. Like like a barricade, like it's like a wall of of like logs strapped together to make a big wooden, almost like a fortification. Can we jump over it? Can we jump over the wall? Tell everybody what I see. Hey, I've got a, a question really quickly. Okay. What do you, what do you call uh what do you call a place where grizzlies play pinball machines? A barricade. <laughs> Are you happy? <laughs> so happy. I'm just laughing at him. <laughs> hey, Brandon, can I fly up and get a look over this wall? Okay, yeah. There you go. Do a perception check with advantage since you're flying. Okay. Do you want to know my my nature check? No, oh, I said a perception check for Rick. With advantage. Wait, you said roll nature, everybody. That so oh, that was ago. a while ago. <laughs> I had a 19. And I rolled a 20. I don't know if you're, I don't think you're going to be. I haven't I recovered gotta... from barricade yet. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> great, right? Great. I so know. you said like I roll it with a bonus? Um, oh, so you roll a d20 twice and you just take the higher number out of it. Okay. Yeah, so a 15. better chance. Hey, okay. Uh, so you, you see as you like kind of fly up. Here, actually, let me see if I can send it to you guys in the in the chat. You guys can kind of see somewhat what you pull up in the chat. Sorry. There you go. All right. So uh, as you fly up, you see there's Walter. like there. It's a fortified, um, kind of like makeshift base, um, where there's wood walls kind of all around it. Um, there's like a couple of areas where they got some like gates that like open up. Um, there's like three nice tents kind of in there, nicer looking, uh, you know, no holes in them type tents. Uh, and then a few wooden sheds of like structures there. Um, there's some small green goblins that look uh, to be doing like some like grunt work, uh, you know, just chopping wood and whatnot. Did we um, walk into this? No, he's flying overhead and he no, sees so this camp. Like you guys are back behind the wall. Um, and then you also see like hobgoblins around too, which is bigger. <laughs> Uh, type like almost, almost kind of like mm -hmm. bearish looking hairy dudes, um, and they're kind of bossing the little grunt guys around. And in the middle there, you see like a. All right, hey, guess what? Hold on, man! I didn't even tell you that I saw this. As I say, there's also in the middle there was. It looks like from the night before there was a huge fire that they had going, and it's kind of simmering down a little more now. Uh, and in the the center of it, there's you know a good old classic like a pot of beans uh, that got cooked. Uh, some carcass of some meat that they cooked. Um, yeah. There's also uh, uh, on the side of that, there's a, a, a post that you notice. And tied to it is a green dragonborn that you recognize. Like he's tied to this post as Ooh. like presumably their prisoner. Um, and then after you notice that, you kind of see uh, against one of the far walls... Uh, by the wooden sheds, there's two horses tied to a post, uh, and one of them, being Ginger Snap, and then your eyes kind of dart around a little more now as you're seeing stuff you're recognizing, um, noticing you guys did have three horses, but there's only two here. 
Oh, they ate it. And you start noticing the meat they kind of cooked looks like a carcass of a horse. Uh, and like, and that now you notice some of the, the little goblin guys are like kind of got a bone and they're eating at it. Uh, and like part are of the, the carcass, with pita? some of the carcass is kind of also on a, a table uh. that like you know they you could see they've stripped the meat off and and whatnot. Mm. I is can't condone this. Is it seasoned meat? Is it good? You don't know. Yet? I can't see from no, here. No, it's man. horse. It's our horses. So, let me let me put this map. Oh, up. pretty good. Oh, you never had horse in Japan? No, I would not. There we go. Did you really not? So then the 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 world can see. So you guys can look at that image I threw up in chat as well. I already have it up. Okay, yeah. that's kind of the over overhead of what Rick saw. If he comes back and this like chat. tells you guys. Rick, explain to us. I don't see it. Oh, how do I see a thing in chat? Click the button, chat. There it is. <laughs> I, I looked at my phone. Oh, you thought I texted. Uh, I don't see it. a thing now. Do I go to a screen share? No, no. no. Uh, in you press chat, and then you should be like uh, it's like screen. Oh, it's shot. like behind my screen or some shit. Maybe. Hmm. Did you click it on Zoom? Yeah, I think okay. I, I'm good to go. All right. Oh, I see it. Yeah, that's kind of the over. Gotta like save it. Hey, Birdman, you gonna tell me what's up? Hey guys, what those buildings, the brown square ones. Those are like hey those, those cheap little sheds where it's like just four posts and like a roof <laughs> over it. And it's just made out of uh, wood and there's like leaves on it to try and kind of camouflage it a little bit. Got it. Got it. Okay, thank you. Yes, Birdman. <laughs> um, our horses are in there. One of them has been eaten. And they have the uh, green dragon. Ginger Snap is alive. Ginger Snap is alive. Okay. Ginger Snap is alive. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah. There's a couple of green small men, a couple of green bigger men. How many? I don't, I don't remember, Brandon. Um, but off of your <laughs> look, it was like maybe five of the smaller ones and three of the bigger guys. Guys, it's maybe five of the smaller ones. <laughs> three, three of the bigger guys. <laughs> They're eating. They're eating the horse right now, live. It was cooked last night, it seems, but they're eating it now. Was it seasoned? Uh, and it is live. Well? It's happening live. <laughs> live. I couldn't catch any seasonings. <laughs> I was live. up high. Not a recorded. I say. Uh, I say we go in and. Uh, All right. Horses Ethan. back. Can I? Can I suggest something? Can I? Can I suggest? So, uh, I speak goblin. You do. Yes, and I also have a I also have a uh, disguise kit. Oh, oh yep. well, Trent okay, just I'm put in. his on. <laughs> so I think I should Go throw it. Little, little, put put my DK on, and then I want to speak Goblin. But I think I should take one of you as hostage, like I've caught somebody. And I need help. I'm a bird. You can use me like take, like uh, meat that you're gonna cook me. I have a disguise as well. You could take me and I'll disguise myself as a dead horse or something. <laughs> yeah, well, I have a disguise I think, kit's not going to just dress you honestly, out of everyone, probably Rick is the best one because he's the best in melee. So, and... how, about this? how about this? Me and JTT, because JTT doesn't have to say anything. <laughs> he could just stand next to me. I could speak goblin, but he'll be dressed like a goblin. So, there's two goblins holding bird, bird man as like our hostage, and then the moment we set the signal Dang off, it. you guys charge in when I open yeah. the gate. What's the signal? You open the gate? Oh, uh, you, you, uh, hey, you'll know it when you see it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brandon. That's yeah, all right. So I see a bunch of trees around, around the, the fences. Is there, uh, are the trees taller than the fence? <laughs> hey, I believe it's good. Because I'm thinking, since I'm an archer, when no, I he the left for, for started... a second and came back, so all the people. screens got moved around. That's fine. I mean, it's on brand at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, on. I forgot. Uh, I had a horse that died on my birthday uh, one year, guys. This is uh, <laughs> the chat just reminded me. I forgot. <laughs> In real life? <laughs> yeah. You had him nice. on my birthday. Uh, Jesus Christ! I knew that story. Yeah, Sorry, man. man. His name was Johnny. Oh, my God. You owned uh, horses. I own multiple horses, Colt. I used to own horses, too. Well, I didn't personally. We're from Kentucky. We're rednecks, so you get it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you get a plus two to owning horses in Kentucky. A horse is more of like an upper class, so, tall boots kind of thing. To also, me. Uh, so you know your yeah, dis but in disguise kit, 
uh, it's meant to be kind of like if you're going to try and make yourself still your your body is still looking the same, but you're trying to make yourself look different. So you can make your it's almost like how people do those makeup tutorials where you can make yourself look very much like a goblin face, but your body will still be as tall as you are <laughs> compared to the others. How, how tall are hobgoblins? Uh, they're about like a, a normal human uh, height, but they're well, very I'll furry. Yeah, they're very like hairy and furry. I'll do a hobgoblin. Okay. All right, I'll say you can you can do a pretty good one. Uh, this is gonna be cool. Copper, how how tall is a normal human? Roll roll a per or a, roll a performance too. Let's see how well uh, and do it with advantage since uh it's your your disguise kit. Ten, sixteen plus okay. three, nineteen. Okay, I'll just keep that in mind as you're uh, progressing. JTT. It was a. Uh... I had the performance. You said, "I got an 11. Oof. Oh, you're you're doing the same with the disguise kit. Yeah. Okay. How do I add advantage? <laughs> uh, you roll it. You roll the d20 again, and if it's higher, you take the higher one. Oh. I can hear you. The well, it's time. 12. It's just 12 now. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, it's one more point. <laughs> All right. I'll just. I'm writing those down so I keep that in mind as you guys uh try and kayfabe them. Hey, right, JTT, I think when we get in there, we should position ourselves behind. Best friends go have a hug or something? Oh, I lost uh I can't hear you, Orange. We lost your we lost your mic, Copper. Oh yeah. Look at Copper, that. Copper, you're done. Orange, you're done. Lost your, one by lost one. Your one by one, all the best friends just left. Somebody <laughs> tell them. Copper, we can't hear you. Oh, sorry. There we go. There we go. Uh, I think we should position ourselves next behind the hobgoblins. So when our friends come in, we can stab them first. Like that. You want to stab us? Yes. No, no the hobgoblins. No, 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 the hobgoblins. Oh. Right, so we'll, we'll wait for Rick to get back so we can carry out our plans. <laughs> <laughs> our well, our well strategized plan. As, I can hear you the whole time. I got it. I got it in. So as you guys are kind of strategizing this thing, just so you see on the map itself, uh, we'll say the area you guys came up on the wall is that area to the right. Um, of the map, like where there's like that little, that little tent. Oh. We'll say that's hey, like, oh, now we're, oh, now okay. we're figure out how to open that again. All right, that's fine. Hey, hey, Brandon, I, I hate okay. to be difficult, but the, my chat's not like working. Can you send it to me like a text or something? All right. or yeah, that'd be e easier for me. You too. can you can look on the Twitch feed. He put it on the Twitch feed. I can't do the Twitch feed. My internet connection will crap out. Oh. Sorry. No, I'll, I'll try and send it like that. Do you want me to share my screen? No, it'll. What is It'll your background green screen, green screen pervert? <laughs> oh, yeah. Watch this, copper. I'm going to blow your mind. <laughs> it's just going to take me a second to get it. I don't have it on near me. Oh, cool, me. man. Yeah, so no worries. Well, that's great. Oh, I see it. <laughs> but yeah, we could, we could, you could still go on with your plan. What, you, what's the first step you guys are executing then? Is it you guys gotta go? You want to go, go to the front gate with Rick in tow, with me and JTT, and we're gonna. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna knock on the 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 door and in Goblin say, "What's what's a what's a what's, what's, what's a what's a what's a goblin got to do to uh, what's a hobgoblin got to do to get some bird around here or something so so it's you and jtt both dressed as hobgoblins and you're yeah. taking rick in with that yes yes that's our plan right. <laughs> am i tied up i want to try the i want to try some of the horse yeah how how is how are you presenting it is are you guys just have them arm in arm or yeah yeah we could tie a loose rope behind my back, Sam. Yeah? Let me throw you over my shoulder and just carry you like Nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and also that's right, JTT, you are a turtle man, so your yeah. body is huge. Yeah. And, but you I'm have a, a hobgoblin goblin. kind of face going on. <laughs> Don't worry, I have I have I have a I have a way to talk ourselves into that one. All right. So all right, we'll we'll go through that first. So as you come up and like you see like there's a couple of goblins uh like you know guarding um the uh, huh? no <laughs> plug it in stuff all right so He's you see the piano <laughs> yeah um, 
Uh, two little goblins are on that bottom side of the map, uh, right where like Colt's neck would be then, um, as they greet you and as, as you guys are coming up, um, like you could you could tell you're already kind of outranking them. Of like they 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 immediately kind of open the doors, uh, and as you get closer though, they're like looking at you like they don't recognize you. You guys drop that line. Uh, make de deception checks. Uh, I'll say what, with what's that line again, Brandon? The line they said of uh, what's a what's a hot goblin got to do to get some bird around here? Okay. Hey, why are why are people congratulating Cole on the chat? What did you do? I rule. They oh it, it was for the uh, be, uh the bear cave joke. <laughs> are you sure it's not for putting the thing in the background? Because no, that was for the, no, it was the barricade joke. Uh, uh, okay. Brandon, deception. You said, yeah, with advantage, and either advantage or or each of you could just roll your own. Uh, I got sixteen overall. I got eleven overall. Okay, all right. Should I roll to look like a a victim? <laughs> you could you could try and do a performance check if you think it's going to help them. Just roll yeah, in. What if I get like a if I get like a one, then we're we're fucked, right? Uh, yeah. So it's, it's, yeah, don't do anything. If you want to get in on? I got a I got a fifteen. Okay. Uh, yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. All right do something. You're looking like a prisoner. <laughs> um, yeah, you say that, and they go, "Oh, fresh meat," and they like kind of you know let you go in and like kind of bow to you of like, eh, "Don't hit us, don't hit us." <laughs> uh, and so you make it in now. Now you're you the three of you are kind of in arm in arm. Um, we'll say you're coming up to the, the south side of that campfire south side. currently. Hey, JTT, what kind of spells do you got that will make a big production? Hmm. Like, a, a good signal. Uh, I have one that's called Alarm. <laughs> that's more like if you want to have an alarm for your, your house. <laughs> kind oh, of man. Like, yeah, it doesn't for cause alarm. It's like you, you set up a situation, and then if yeah, somebody passes through it, yeah. you get alarmed. Uh, I have no. We have a we have a one of those minor uh, ring illusion. doorbells on our on our yeah. Airbnb. That's what on that. every on every separate B and B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you get the notification on your Wi-Fi. <laughs> All right. So, on my turtle cell phone. So yeah, you guys are just chilling now in here. Um, you have a, you have like a dancing lights or like a a, a, a like a like a fire. Have, as as you two are colors, discussing, you see spray. another two goblins come up and they grab Rick and they start like escorting him. Uh, I no 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 no. I say no. Huh? I say no. This is our meat. You'll you'll get it when I when I tell you, you can have it. And Thanks, they just kind of walk away and start going back to like. Tying rope. I want to walk. I want to take me and Rick. We want, we want to walk behind two of the hobgoblins. Behind them. Uh, you don't see I'm any hobgoblins at the moment. Where's JTT? You, you only see the goblins kind of going around. The hobgoblins seem to have like maybe gone into their tents. Like, and we, we wouldn't know which tents they've gone into. You, you, it's it's safe to assume. Uh, like now that you're in here, it's obvious. Kind of the goblins are like they reside in these shacks, and then the hobgoblins each have one of these tents. They're like what, we'll say one of the tents is even kind of like the the doors like are the sheet doors kind of like open and you see one just relaxing in there um just like kind of minding his own he's not like you know paying much attention to what's happening exactly outside but you can like kind of see as you glance through like oh there's a guy chilling in there you know all right jtt i think you should shoot a f uh, you have magic missile right i have magic missile yeah i also I think... have i could put him to sleep too Nah, nah, let's kill these kids. So okay. I think we should, uh, I, I, I suggest maybe magic missile at the biggest tent, and then Rick and I will get behind two of the goblets and slit throats. But, but you can you can offer to sell me as meat, and then I can say, eat this, and then I hit him with my hammer, too. <laughs> um, Is that a good go plan? The... That might be worth it. That might be worth it. That's a great plan. I think we should do that. I, I mean, like I, already, <laughs> I already said it, so we can just do something else. <laughs> <laughs> the I was planning used. on it, but you guys weren't. <laughs> I'm Doc it. Martin, are you seven years old? <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't fuck with fun dip? Not in a long time. Does it have the green one, the sour apple? I got. It's like it does. It turns strawberry smackaroo dip. I got watermelon <laughs> whammo dip, and I got tartastic mystery dip. J, J tartastic. J tartuga. Oh, I love it. Then go ahead, man. Do your own thing. I'm standing back because I got to heal all y'all after you get your asses kicked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you ready? Rick's plan. Let's do Rick's plan. 
All right, let's give let's give Rick to the goblins. Right, should, we so, go, should we go into the tent? Good luck, dudes. Yeah, uh, explain what you're, you're the doing. Hobgoblins are so the real ones. Kinda... Yeah, yeah. Let's go into the tent. Offer you as a gift, as a gift to the hobgoblins. Let's do it. All right, which tent gift, are you going to go to? Meat gift. That'll be. Uh, we want to go to the tent with the most hobgoblins. Well, it, like I said, it, it, you, you kind of deduce that each each of these tents have one hobgoblin in it. Okay, you, so we'll you, go to the big tent. They're kind of the leaders, yeah. And okay, so you're gonna go to the big one. Kind of obvious of like, all right, this is the big Kahuna here. So you guys go walk. Yep. You're gonna walk into that tent, kind of like move the, yep. the uh, door open. All right, what do you guys yep. say as you enter? Howdy. <laughs> you, you can't speak to them, bro. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So do you say it just like that? No, just as, as, so, as basic so and common say, as it I is. Say, I say in Goblin, howdy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And they, they and I, uh, I, have, I have a tasty morsel of a thick slab of meat bird for you as I, in, in exchange for us to stay here for the night. And like he, he kind of gets up and he's like, like uh, all decked out in kind of armor and like you know just all scars and looking badass like Cal Drogo looking style type guy um, that he kind of gets up he's got the long braid like a you know a top braid that comes down all the way to his back uh, and he comes up and he's I haven't seen you guys around here well looks like meat's back on the menu boys and he comes over and uh, reaches out towards like Rick to uh, grab at him He's gonna grab him by his hand, uh, and then he'll kind of shove him out of his tent to like, like telling the goblins to like uh, grab him. Any anything do you it, guys are responding to? Okay, well, I'm gonna. He kind of like uh... he shoves you to like try and knock you to the floor to like you know humble you a little bit. I'll do like a back handspring. <laughs> Warhammer, rage on. Eat this. <laughs> Here you go, smack, smack that that hobgoblin. Yeah, do you guys do flips? All right, so yeah, let's, bird, let's roll the uh, acrobatics no to see how you do, do that back handspring. Back handspring. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a twenty. Oh, nice! Yeah, clean. You've been watching copper. Plus two, twenty-two. Yeah, great Damn. looking back handspring. All right, now roll to see if you hit on the uh, the uh, swing. Okay. But even even before he hits, Brandon, I want to give a nice, I want to give a nice thumbs up. For the backflip. Yeah. <laughs> and smile and wink at JTT. All right. With the sunglasses on and everything. <laughs> yep. So, so I got a 13, but I think it's plus five. Okay. Warhammer plus five for hit. Nice. That's 18. That hits. But do I get a rage? The rage goes in the next thing, right? Uh, the rage, yeah, it's going to add two to your damage that you do to him. Okay. So D8 plus three. Oh, I got a one, plus three, okay. four, plus, plus what else? Two. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me how much that six. was. I wasn't paying attention overall. Uh, I think it was a six. Six total damage to him. All right. Yeah. Not great. Sorry, guys. Okay. Sorry, big dog. But you got the element of surprise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't even know what's happening. They started attacking. Yeah, you and I are just chilling out. We're like, hey, what's up? He smacks him, eat this. He takes it on the chin and just like topples back and falls on his ass. Uh, um, surprise. Now let's roll initiative for everybody. So we can see what order everyone could start doing some stuff in. <laughs> Ooh. I got 16. Eight, eight total. Okay. Uh, 15. Is there is there plus you add shit to initiative? Math. Yeah. Fourteen over. Oh, oh, I got seventeen. Seventeen for Rick. Okay. I got sixteen. Nice. Fourteen. So who got seventeen? Doc Martin got I fifteen. Think that was one of the top seventeen. Was wait, is Doc Martin in the game now? Well, you guys are still gonna uh, have a turn. Rush in. You guys are yeah, probably I'm gonna hear some in the commotion back. and be able to move around. Who had that seventeen? So so you want me to roll now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, we're all we're all in fight mode. All right, who had the high numbers? I heard a fifteen and a seventeen. I had seventeen. All right. What do we add? Initiative. Yeah. Yeah, initiative had... up big square in the middle up top. Okay. I got a the my initiative is zero. So nice. Just like real life. Nice. I think I made that joke every <laughs> <We> time. <should. laughs> I, I was about to say it, but then you beat me to it. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure I've done what, every game. What did Lorelai and JTT get? I got 16. 16, okay. I got 14. Okay. I got 14. Hey, all right. All right. So then Hobgoblins are going to go first. Homeboy's going to get up, and he's going to pull out his sword that he's got. And it's like a big curved sword. And he's going to go mm -hmm. to try and hack at you, Rick. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> he rolls uh, 21 to hit you. Oh. Yeah, I think 21 hits. I heard Rick's got a curved sword. Pretty standard, actually. Which way is it? Curve. <laughs> a big curved sword. Is that about his bird dick? <laughs> a what a bird dick? A cochlea. Well, right. A what? I'm pretty sure he hits you, right? 21 dick? It's on all your spirally? <laughs> so you're going to take four points of damage, Rick. Okay. All right. And then let me get the other. So then the other guys, you notice um, um, JTT and Copper, um, you guys kind of hear the commotion from the other tents now as the other hobgoblins just come out and check what's going on. And they just see kind of a scuffle. So they're not really doing much yet. They're just seeing like just the usual like goblins scuffling over some food or what. So their turns, they're not going to do much other than kind of see what's happening outside of the tent. Then it is Rick's turn. Okay. I got four damage. Are you writing that down for me? Yeah, that he you gave him four damage, or no? No, no, that, no, that, uh, oh, that no. he uh, he gave me. You got to write that down. Okay, I don't have paper. Put <laughs> it on your phone or something. Like how am I? Yeah, how am I gonna write? I got already these guys <laughs> right. I got right. This guy's putting a whole story together, Rick. <laughs> oh, you did it all. Uh, I'm gonna smash you with the hammer again. All right, roll for it. So I gotta open my dice menu. Nineteen. Ooh, yeah, that hits. So then uh, roll and your damage then, uh, again. You're raging. What was it? D eight. Three plus. Wait. Plus three. Plus two. Uh, so eight. Eight total. On yeah, them? I think the plus two is for rage, right? Yeah. I can't remember. Yep. Yeah. Eight. Dang, nice. Yeah, you hit him again, boom, and you can see he's, like, knocked loopy. He does not look good right now. He's, he's almost he's, dead, boys. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, then it is JTT's turn. You're looking like this big old massive hobgoblin with your shell being hidden. <laughs> but you got a real furry-looking face. <laughs> hmm. How many uh, how many hobgoblins are around us? Just the one? The one is in that tent, and then you see the other two have now come outside of their tents to kind of see what's going on. So on that map, they're just on the outside of their tents. I have a spell called Mage Hand, and I'm looking it up, and it's like a big-ass hand appears, right? Yeah. So I think I want to use my spell for, ma for Mage Hand, and I what? want to control that hand to slap the two that are outside so it's not <laughs> huge it's the size of like a normal hand well i want to slap them okay trying to come and stop us <laughs> so they just get slapped by this like invisible hand yeah all right slapping me no. no his mage hand is gonna slap all right so roll am i able to can i can i slap one and trip the other uh let me see here oh well so casting it is gonna be the action and then let me see if uh, you could control, control the hand. I want to see if there's like a, if it's, oh, the hand can't attack. Oh. Yeah. Then you know what? I'm not, I don't think I want a mage hand. I <laughs> okay. think I just want to, I think I'm just going to attack the guy that attacked Rick All right. with my crossbow. Oh, he's going <laughs> to die too. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> just, so you, uh, you go full on, uh, <laughs> was it Tropic Thunder? You just uh, pull off your robe and you got a crossbow there. <laughs> <You just doop. laughs> All right, so roll the damage on it. Roll your d20 and add your your plus. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lead farmer. What do I add? Uh, for your crossbow, it might it'll tell you ne next to it of like a it's a plus something. Let me see what you got. It just it just says crossbow in the weapons. Hold on, I'll look it up for you. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> roll your I roll d20 crossbow. and then I'll... I rolled an eight. Okay. 
Yeah, you know it's probably a it's probably a plus one because your dex is a one. So you rolled an, a, a nine total. Then uh, nope, doesn't doesn't hit him. Damn, bad shot. Yeah, you pull it out. You feel like you're badass and you're gonna get the kill on this guy and <laughs> just goes <laughs> goes past him through his tent. You just punctured right, a hole in the in the fabric. <laughs> I tried. I wear glasses. I took them off. Yeah. So then it's Orc Haffington's turn. You hear like uh, just some scuffling kind of going on and like people selling like oh oh uh, yeah, on the other selling? side of that Goods? wall. Yeah, selling moves like wrestlers. <laughs> I think that's our cue. <laughs> Do I have to buy them? <laughs> so you you guys could kind of just hear commotion. Up to you of how you want to play that. Well, I'm here with Lorelai. Aren't I with Doc Martin or no? Yeah, the three of you are on the outside. Yeah, we're back here. We're hanging out, guys. We're chilling back. Yeah, I think that was our cue. Uh, yeah, there's something going down, and I think we should at least investigate. Yeah, now he said we'll know when, when it's happening, and I hear screaming, so I'm pretty sure that's our cue. Okay. That's, usually, that's usually our call to, to arms is bloody Screaming? Murder. Well, I apparently it's my turn, but I'm going to follow the lead of Lorelai. <laughs> all right who's calling the shots here so yeah we'll we'll say uh oh well her turn is next anyway you guys go together so we could say whatever she's doing on her turn you'll follow with it okay okay so all right i'm looking at i'm looking at the map so where are we coming in at uh if you're looking at the right of the map uh i'd say just on the wall um where like that smaller tent is just on the other side of that wall where like here or the little, other side uh, okay. uh, the exact opposite of so if your other hand, yeah. So there's no real entrance in there, yep. is there? Yep, yep. A little further, a little further, further to the other. Yep. Yeah, about there <laughs> on, on the other side of that wall, like you're pointing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, about there. So you guys can do what you want. You could try and hop the wall. It's about like eight, nine-ish feet, or you can run around to the bottom where you you guys know there's like a, a some kind of a gate or entrance and that's where they came in from that's where your teammates kind of went through is down on the, the south side of that map i i feel like probably i'm i'm smaller than most of you guys so i say probably running in is our best option unless i just climb a tree and shoot from there but i feel like i want to be with you guys just in case i have to help heal too so should we run down to the entrance what do you guys want to do well, I'm going to bring my instruments with me. Is that going to slow me down? No, you always have those on you. Okay, perfect. I say, drop the loot. Never. And then let's run in there. Never. <laughs> strap it on your back. You'll be fine. Yeah, I'm going to keep the loot. Take, take the I'm going strap. To, okay, okay. I'm going to keep it in a place where you think I've dropped it, but it's kind of secretly hidden. Is that your pants? Is that your Well, pants? I'm not going to tell you where, but it's somewhere you can't see. <laughs> but I still got it. <laughs> you put a bush on top of it. <laughs> yeah. then, all right. So then, are the two of you, what are you, what are you guys doing? Of Lorelai and Haffington, are you guys gonna start running down south on the map to like make it towards that door, or we're not running down south. We're going through the door. Well, we have to run to the door to go through. Yeah. It, so, yeah. so it would just be you're using your turn to kind of run down to that south end, right? Well, then my turn is to get everyone to go down to the door. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm and saying. Is and now you. Lorelai can now we want to go through that door. No, right? no, no. Each of you individually still have to run. So both of you make it down to the door. <laughs> like you did pick me it's up. The goblin yes. turns after this. <laughs> we'll say you guys are now at the bottom of the map where that door opens and splits. <laughs> Pretty much where your nipples would be. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Nipple Old is so hesitant to run, just like in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, he go. didn't pop up. But did he laugh? I, I couldn't see him. Yes, that's I where flicked we are. you off. Okay. So then it's some goblins' <laughs> turns. There's going to be the two that were near the tent that see all this happening with Trent. They're going to start trying to pin down and attack Rick. So one of the goblins is going to try and grab your leg to try and restrain you and hold you. They know you. it was me. They were right there when you pulled. You did the back handspring. And oh, you... they were pulling on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. So there's two of them there. Ooh. So luckily one rolls a three. So he's just like a little ankle biter. He's just grabbing at your, your leg. Not like physically doing anything though to you. The other one's gonna actually try and strike at you. Uh, he does a thirteen. I don't think that hits you. Uh, how to do try, I know? To try armor? and hit your AC, yeah, your armor class. It, it's thirteen. Oh, so then it does hit you. 
Wait, or did it upgrade when we leveled up or no? No, that doesn't. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's 13. So yeah, he's pulling out like a little dagger and he's kind of jabbing it at you. Let's see, he'll roll his damage. Try it. He does seven points of damage. He actually oh, <laughs> rolled a damn. five plus two. So he gets Jeez. you at a decent spot. He gets you in like your lower back uh, where he stabs. Oh, right by your tattoo. Dang. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, actually exactly. gets a good one in there. And then now um, the other goblins are starting to just like kind of head towards that direction. Because um, like, again, they all think like it's a scuffle or it's a fight. They don't know how serious it is yet. So like the other three goblins that aren't around here, just head towards that direction. Um, so the next round, they might get involved in it. Uh, then it's Doc's turn. You see Lorelai and Orc Haffington take off down south on the map. We're yelling, hey, let's go to the entrance. And he's going, no, you know, you've seen my matches. I don't run. <laughs> All right. I don't want to waste my uh, spells. And so can I get just, like, just sneak closer? Um, are you or talking... can I fire? I have a, a a short bow. If I can stay hidden and shoot that, I don't want to present myself yet because I'm afraid I might have to heal these guys who have gone inside. Yeah. So you're still on the other side of the wall, though. So do you want to like try and climb this wall and stay up on that, or do you want to just like lag behind a little bit, but behind the other people that are running towards the I door? I kind of want to like stay in the back, like kind of hidden, you know. Okay, so, but uh, are you going to scale the wall, or how are you getting into this little encampment? Oh, I thought they opened the door. The door's not open? No, they made it down towards that south end, but they haven't, like, actually physically walked yeah. into the place yet, though. Okay, I see. I, I'll okay, just follow here. them. The okay. door is here. All right, and I'll keep, and that in mind. I'll keep that in mind, as your intent is to try and stay hidden from the other group. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, and then we're back up to the hobgoblins, so that one that Rick is just destroying... He's like wobbly and feeling it. Wait, get... did that go yet? Or oh, no? wait, yeah. Where'd cop... I never got your your initiative. When was, What was your number? Eight. Okay, yeah, that's what it was then. All right, so we'll have you go right now, and then I'll put you in the right order on the next round. Okay. Uh, I want to yell at the goblins, because I still think I'm a, I'm a hobgoblin, right? Yeah. Yeah. I want to yell at all the goblins to stay out of the tent. I have this. I want to yell. I have this under control. All right, roll uh, intimidation. Six plus three nine. Okay, so as you, what, what is it that you yell? Let's hear. What do you, what do you tell these other guys? I'm gonna tell all the goblins to stay out of this tent. It's under control. Don't right. worry, Daddy's got it. <laughs> <laughs> so Did you I, I, in the tent, and he just killed me. As you're saying it, like, um, yeah, you see it kind of, it somewhat works. Like, you know, they're all kind of looking, and then they're like. Oh, all right, well, like, they're not approaching, but they're still just, they still want to just see a fight. So, like, they're still staying at their tent. Just, you know, looky lose. But they're not, they're not gonna, they're, they're still, they're still around the tent. They're at, they're at the entrance of their tents. So they have, oh, okay. It. Yeah. They're just can checking I, out I what's happening. Something? Can I, can I do something else or am I done? Um, I'll say you could do a, another thing. That's kind of more just like an interaction rather than a full on action. I want to take out my dagger and 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 stab him in the throat. Stab the goblin on the ground. Okay. The, so the, the one that's grabbing Rick's leg. Are there three in here? Or just one. There's there's two next to Rick, and then there's another three. So there's five total, but the other three are just like they're on their way over to you guys yet. No, they haven't really made it right. yet. You got we two that are right boys. next to you. Yeah, I want to I want to stab the one that's grabbing Rick's leg. Okay. A roll to see if you hit him. 14 plus 6, 20. Nice. Yeah, you hit him. Yeah. Um, one <laughs> to 3 plus 4 is 7. So you do 7 damage to him? Yeah. I have like this advantage of a, if there's a target within 5 feet of anybody, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that would be if you if you didn't hit, but you hit yeah. him, so you're still yeah. good. But yeah, you do seven damage to him. Um, you stab him in the neck, and like he's just like he's dying in your hand right now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hell yeah. All right, so then that's your turn. Now we'll go back up to those hobgoblins as they see that. Um, so the one, like I said, that's like on his deathbed with Rick. He's gonna try and take the swing at you with his sword. 
Can you paint the situation again for us here? Um, yeah, so in the big tent on the very top right of the map is this like hobgoblin leader dude where um, uh, the two of your teammates and Rick all got like they brought over Rick as like a sacrifice. Um, then he does his back handspring, hits the hobgoblin. A couple of goblins that came by are like trying to grab on Rick too as they see like a fight's happening. So camp kind of just hears that a fight's happening. So right now, as far as all the camp is concerned, they're all just getting like a high school fight. They all just want to like see what's going on. They don't know who's hit who fight, yet fight, or fight, any fight. of that. Yeah, but they just know a fight's happening. Uh, and then you guys are coming up on the very south side of the map to try and come in. And yeah, as, now in our sorry, in our tent, the hobgoblin is alive, and the two little goblins are alive, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, and then so yeah, that guy tries to hit you. Roll a 13 plus, let me see his end. So he rolls an 18 again. Doesn't that hit you, Rick? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see. He rolls a d10. Ooh, he hit the 10. So it's 11 points of damage you take that he just tries to hack you, and you just take a big gash in the front. I think I pass out, and I'm done. How many points total did you just take? You took that 11 and... He had seven um, from before. Oh. I had I had four and then I had eight from before, and now uh, now eleven. Eleven, yeah, I'm done. Jeez, yeah. I only so, have nineteen, right? Yeah. So he he slashes at Rick and he takes just a big gash and like just falls to the floor, and he's looking at like now the hobgoblin's looking at like the rest of like you know that's how the leader does it kind of a thing. Uh, then next, oh, it's Rick's turn. Now Rick, you got to make a death saving throw. So you roll a d20. Good luck, buddy. This is what JTT was having to do in that live game a lot. <laughs> yeah. So you go roll a d20. If you get 10 or above, you're 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 on the better. If you get below 10, like single digits, you're closer to dying. And they just add up. On side, yeah, right? it's it's the first to three. three. If you get three successes or three fails. Yeah, it's like little. Yeah. I got a 10. Okay, so you got one success so far. Okay. Yeah. Boom. Uh, and then that's just your turn. Then we got JTT. How many people are around us? There's three in the tent. All right. I want to put him to sleep with my sleep spell. Okay. Roll, There's a uh... hobgoblin who's real weak in there. Yeah. So with sleep, I believe it's like 5d8 that you're going to roll and add it all up. 5d8. Yeah, 5d8. And then that number is going to be how many hit points you can put to sleep. Oh, somebody in the chat was saying Rage halves incoming damage. So actually, all of that damage you were taking was supposed to be halved each is time. It? Let me look oh. it up. That's right, I forgot. Oh, shit. Brandon. Can we go back? Hey, I'm trying to, to manage. A lot. Yeah, so <laughs> how much was that total you took? It was 11, so we'll just say that was 5. The other was 4, so that will be 2. So you're at 7 total. And the other one. No, was... there's another 4. There was another, because it was 11, 4, and 8? Yep. Yeah, so half all those. So it's 4, 2, and 5, which is somebody... 11 total, right? Sure. All right, so yeah, you're still up. So actually, we could go back and give you a turn now then. Let's do okay. it. There we Big go. Big Hobgoblin. <laughs> all right. Who tried to kill me. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just we raging just re so hard. rewound the sands of time right there. <laughs> Thanks, whoever said that. <laughs> All right. I'm, yeah, you get, you get a five. Yeah. I rolled to I rolled to hit him, but I rolled a five. All right. So yeah, you kind of just kind of go and still nothing. I'm fucked. I'm fucked up. I'm almost dying. Yeah, you are yeah. still, but you're. You can't blame me. Yeah, you got. So that's something to remember for you, though. Is every when you're raging, yeah. you take half damage on stuff. Okay. All right. I'll try and remember that too. Hey, it's been a while, guys. It's been two weeks since we played. I mean, it's a lot of characters to remember. Yeah. All right. Now JTT's turn. Now, so your buddy's still up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, right, if well, you're still doing the sleep, I'm still gonna put him to sleep. All right, how so, much did you roll? Uh, 19 total. You okay. said five. I rolled five or six. Five of those d8s, and you had okay. I rolled 19. Total. 19 of it. All right, and so let me see how that works. I think is it the weakest person starting at the creature that has the lowest current hit points? Yeah. So that one dude, uh, as you cast that kind of like it's it's just a. I don't know. Maybe explain. What do you do when you cast sleep? What does your character kind of do? What does it look like? I go. Ooh. 
I was so hoping you were gonna do a a sh No. Come on, no. man. No. It's too predictable, All right. man. All right, I like it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you do a Halloween-inspired ooh Scott Hall, mm -hmm. and the hobgoblin just kind of topples over. I mean, to everyone else, it looks like maybe he's exhausted from this fight. Maybe he's bleeding out, but he just topples over. Uh, and you said it was 19, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then you see the other two goblins, or actually, well, one of those is dead. Uh, but the other one that stabbed Rick pretty well, he just kind of falls over too. And then one of the ones that's running uh, just, like, hits a log and just, like, kind of eats it pretty sick. Uh, you know, he sells it disgusting um, as he's, like, running towards the thing. He just falls over asleep. So you got two goblins and the hobgoblin. He eats what do they sleep for? Uh, like he eats it like he, he ate crap. He Colt knows floor. what you mean. Disgusting. I think they sleep for only a minute. <laughs> they sleep for a minute only. I think it's only a minute. Is that right? Yeah, and it's if some if you guys don't touch them. That's like what four turns, five yeah. turns. Yeah, it's a minute. Kill them while down. Four full laps. It's ten full. Turns. Ten full laps. Oh, okay. They're done for the round. Yeah. Maybe they're just out. All right, so then after JTT, it's Orc Haffington. Hey. So you guys are down at that, that gate, but you notice the other goblins, like, abandon it to go see the fight. So, like, it's just a gate. Yeah, we I, obviously I just walk in. Okay, you own the place. And then I want to <laughs> I want to cast a spell here. All right. It says you, you can cast known bard spells using Cha as your spellcaster modifier. Yeah, that's charisma. <laughs> cha. That's cha. <laughs> that's charisma. That's your. <laughs> um, I can use mis mis uh, musical instrumental to sp spell fo focus. So, is anybody in trouble? Rick's in trouble. Yeah. No, I'm okay now. I'm I'm hurt, but I'm okay. <laughs> Did you wait? You just had a bird. Why'd you get rid of that bird? I was getting beat up and fell off. There was a bird. Oh, on the your... bird, the actual bird. Yeah. To represent me being a bird? Obviously. That's different. Thank oh, you. There it is. Um, can I, uh, do any of my teammates want me to uh, do a spell for anybody? What do you do? What do you... I sing songs, man. He can inspire you, so then you can use that to like improve your Are we your close enough to something? inspire? I said just smash, smash everyone we see. All right, fine. I'll smash everyone I see. Team leader, Rick. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you got um, a dagger, a rapier. Yeah, this is, a, this is a lot of guys. I'll dagger all the all the little uh, milk milkmen. What are they? Goblins. 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 <laughs> milkmen. <laughs> Just running around with cartons. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. So, I'll yeah, dagger we'll, these hobgoblins. We'll say one, around. one is yeah. Ready? One is kind of a straggler hanging hanging back close enough that you can like kind of grab him by the neck, and we'll see if you hit him. <laughs> Great. Roll. Yeah, roll, roll D twenty. Nineteen, baby. Nineteen. Yeah, that hits. That plus hits what? Goblin. Um, it would be plus whatever's next to that weapon. I think it's a plus four. Nine. Yeah, twenty three. Yeah. So and then it says plus two for piercing. Yeah. So roll the. What did you do? The dagger or the rapier? Dagger. All right. You don't want a rapier or someone? So you're gonna roll a D eight and D8? add a two. Oh no, he's doing the dagger. Sorry, D four plus two. Yeah, it says D four. Okay, here we go. Shit. Uh, one. All right, so then plus plus two. You did three damage to him. That you got him. He's a slippery little guy, so you didn't. You you you, you felt like you got him, but it wasn't satisfying. You didn't like get the dagger all the way in. All right, and that's your turn. So then next we got Lorelai. Okay, um, I'm going to move just a hair closer. My longbow is 150, but 600 overall. Can I hit anyone around near the tent? All those goblins around yeah, there? Yeah, with that, you okay. can hit literally anything. Also, sorry, Colt, just as a reminder, I, I just looked. Uh, you can still inspire someone with a bonus action. So it's like you get a yeah. little bonus if you want to sing and inspire somebody. Yeah, of so course like I want to inspire on everybody. That action. We could pick one person and do it to them. Lorelai, 
I hope Doc Martin never gets inspired. I will never choose him to be inspired. Lorelai, you're about to do a bow and arrow. Put the bow through one of the milkmen's chests so they die. And we can live in unity, all of us. And also, I heard Copper Knight Flair cheats on his girlfriends, just saying. So obvious you don't listen to music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now you have a D6 you can add, Lorelai, to whatever you're about to roll, if you want to do it to your attack or an ability or save it. Okay, probably my attack. Okay, so yeah. I'm pretty sure I hit this dude. I rolled you're a... You're welcome, I rolled, Thank you so much. Jeez. I rolled a... Really? Uh, <laughs> 13 but i have a plus nine attack bonus so jeez oh, yeah uh, oh what 22. are you hitting again i forgot what were you shooting it at because you can hit uh, almost I'm sh- anything. one of the the goblins around the tent okay so i it's hard to see because we'll see, there's but... one yeah there's there's one that fell asleep uh one that one Orton of the milk just got, and one that's on his own because then there's the other two that were with with rick so we'll say well, you got that one that's still just making his way to the fight Okay. A, fre- so, a fresh bam, guy. Yeah, back fresh in the guy. head. All right. Jeez. And yeah. then I'll Roll add the damage. damage. I'll add the d6 to the damage. So it's a d8 plus 5 plus my d6. So uh, 11 overall because it's 33, 5. Jeez, yeah. 11 points you, of damage. The arrow just goes through his head and comes out one of his eyes as he just like falls to the floor. Killed him. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I feel pretty inspired right now. Right. Yeah. Uh, all right, then. So then it's Copper's turn. Uh, I want to take the asleep hobgoblin leader. Okay. Yeah, he's just I want laid to, out. I want to drag him. I want to grab him by his, like, plate here. I want to drag him out to the front of the tent. Yeah. I want to look all the goblins right in the eyes. I want to take with my other hand my dagger and slowly slit his throat. Nice. And say, does anybody else want a piece of this? Nice. All right. So um, that can scare him off. Yeah. I mean, essentially, you do all that because he's pretty much a lifeless body. You don't got to roll much to make that happen. Um, roll an intimidation check with advantage for this. Nice. Yeah, that that guy is good. <laughs> 11, so, uh, 15 total. Yeah, let me see what the other. Ooh, nice. Yeah, as you do that, exactly as you described it, the other guys that are still alive, I mean, one of the goblins is asleep, but the other hobgoblins look at you as you do that, and they look at each other, uh, and, well, I'll see what they do when it comes to their turn. Um, but, oh, so it's the goblins' turn right after you. The goblins that are, um, well, I'm trying to think who's still alive in the goblins because Lorelai killed one. One's being held by kind of uh, Orc Haffington as he got hit. You killed one. I think there's just and the, the others are asleep, the right? One, there's yeah, two there are asleep, and there were five. Yeah. yeah. So like any goblins that were alive, they'd be running right now if there is maybe one. But uh, there's just yeah, there's a, a sleep one. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There's maybe one that ran runs off right now because then it's Doc's turn. Um, as like the other hobgoblins you notice uh, are like stunned um, that like they're getting ready to kind of retreat. I'm going to toss a a healing word toward uh, Rick. Okay. Because yeah. I know he's that? hurt. What's yeah, what the do word? You, what do you say? Let the DM do his job, Colt. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Want my <laughs> your face looks so sad. <laughs> the healing word is Birdman, get up. That's that was way up. too many words. Do you feel it? I think, uh, what is it you heal? It's like something plus your your charisma bonus or something. I think it's something plus five if I am if I remember from the other one. I got a roll? I think you do got a roll. All right. You get the roll for how much he heals, right? Doc, my name is Half Workington. Thank you. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, think I want to know where you think heard that she's my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's my D, multiple D4 girlfriends are spell casting we modify, will come back uh, to that roll a d4 <laughs> for me okay yeah and you're gonna add five to it so you're getting at least five minimum uh two plus five is seven dang seven points for rick 
Ooh, I think I was at 11, maybe. I can't really remember. Did I get hit 11, or am I at 11? You got hit. You got hit 11. You got hit 11. You got hit 11. So you're okay. at like 8, and then you just got healed up 7. So you're at 15 now. Okay, that'll work. There you go. He healed you up. All right, then we're up to the Hobgoblin's turns. Thanks, Doc. Both of them at their tent, they see what you're Copper welcome. did, and they're they're legit scared. They both take off in opposite directions. The one that his tent is on the right of that map, he heads south towards that opening. And then the one that's in like the upper left tent, he runs um, uh, west towards that opening uh, on the, the left side of the map on those trees. They both just go in opposite directions, just bolting out of there. Uh, that's what their turn is. Then we got Rick's turn. He's feeling fresh. Quick question. If they're running, are they running past me and Orc Huffington? They, they when would. they get attack of opportunity? They're, they're not going to run like in, right by you. They're obviously going to keep <laughs> some space yeah, away from okay. you as they run. Yeah, because it's a pretty open like field there. Okay. It's not like that. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, do we get attacks of opportunity? Yeah, no, they're going to they're gonna <laughs> try to keep some space out and run. And we'll say they made it to like the edges of those doors, so they haven't still made it completely out. But oh, up okay. to you guys and what you what you do here. Rick, you're you're in that tent. You saw. So they're trying to. You saw. They're copper. trying to run. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Wasn't and there, where wasn't there a dinosaur tied up? Yeah. Where's There's the green the guy? dragonborn? He's uh, on this map. So yeah, <laughs> Colt. He's above your left ear right now. Now, Colt, in that little yeah, he's right above it. There's a little stick on the map that he's tied up to that post. Uh, oh, he's uh, right here. Is that thing. I, I well, I can't see what you're looking at. <laughs> but so in the there's a fireplace and then the top right there's a little dot on the map and that's what there you there's your finger yeah there it is yeah oh that's him there it is Colt get it that's yeah it's a post that he's tied to there <laughs> I should do, um, I'm gonna have to do this on the maps now because then I could kind of po point to you guys <laughs> do that on future ones thanks for the idea Colt <laughs> it was my idea and I'm gonna have Doc to get Martin's a post panel. like a, a uh, an extension like stick too to be like right here you see <laughs> give us the weather yeah i think uh i mean i could step outside the tent and throw a javelin at these guys that are running right yeah you could or we could just check on green man it's up to you i mean you got you, you got you, some sleep, you, your heart you got two you. you got two sleeping goblins on the floor am i right was it two that he, he got yeah, yeah. two goblins you got two goblins asleep. yeah the one that did stab you that's right he fell asleep and then one that's just randomly, like, you know, in the middle of the grass there, he's asleep. Can I pick up a goblin and throw it at a guy who's running? And it won't make it that far. Yeah, that's true. And you're a little shitty bird. I, I'm a stronger kind of bird. Uh, okay, I'll just fucking, I'll take a javelin and just jab it down into one of those guys, sleeping guys' heads. Oh, okay. While just kind of walking out of the tent. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, going to be... I think you roll with advantage to hit him. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're going to hit him. He's asleep. Rolled a on nine. Four. Yeah, I mean... Oh, so twice? going to hit anyways, yeah. <laughs> Fifteen. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you could easily... If your intention is to kill them, like, you're going to do it. Like, he's not going to wake up and be like, Ah, I got health still. Uh, yeah, okay. you just flat out <laughs> kill the little guy. Uh, and as you do that, like, you hear uh, the familiar voice of Ulosh in your head. Whoa, there he is. Uh, yeah, Whoa. he goes, yes, do not let them escape. Track them down and kill them. Burn them. Okay. Uh, can I just announce to everyone else that? Can I say exactly that to everyone? Scream it out. Okay. Okay, I did that. <laughs> guys kill them all don't let them escape burn their next. bodies thanks Ulosh <laughs> Ulosh what's his name? Ulosh <laughs> oh it is Ulosh yeah oh okay <laughs> cool alright uh, the next uh, oh, would be JTT oh my god I want to shoot a magic missile at one of them running nice, nice. okay <laughs> let me look that up that's an automatic hit that spell mhm mm let me just look it up so I can see what the uh, the damage is. Uh, a D4 plus one. Roll a D4. 
I got a three plus one, so four. Nice. Uh, at one of the hobgoblins, correct? Yeah, one of the ones running. Yeah, you you nail him with it, uh, oh. but he's still up, he's still up and running. Like, but you just see it singes his back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then uh, Orc Haffington's turn. So I've realized you, that you these still have that little goblin. Yeah. What's that? You still have a, a goblin that you like stabbed and took most of his life, but. Yeah, I want to try to domesticate him. I think. Okay. Hmm. And I'd like to keep like a hobgoblin, like just pet? like have one as a pet. Yeah. All right. Well, right now he's like he's you know you got your arm around him, say, and he's just trying to get away from you though. So like yeah. So what, what, what are you gonna do to deal with him right now? Well, well the like... little the little ones are the regular goblins. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Is is there a cute one? There's a sleeping one. That's a yeah. Pet joke do you want a ho- the hobgoblins are like the big dogs? Oh, they yeah, are. You want a goblin? Oh, do we goblin. have goblins around? One you have one in your hand, a, a normal goblin. Like they're short, yeah. they're like four, three and a half, four feet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna ask Copper to come on over. Can I ask him? Is he okay? Is is who okay? Is the goblin? Copper. Oh, Copper. Yeah, yeah. man. Copper, do you mind coming over and and asking this guy if he'll like, just kind of, you know, be my pet if we if I don't kill him and, and like be like, hey, we're gonna kill everybody here, but you have the chance to live and be like my cute little pet. This is a sentient being that you're trying to enslave, man. <laughs> so, what are dogs then? What do you mean? Can you have a conversation with a dog? No. Yes. A little bit. Oh, you I can. Watched, <laughs> I watched on TikTok where like the one was like, my paw hurts, and he hit a button and said, my paw hurts. Okay. All right. Never mind. I've seen that. I don't know if I'd buy it. Oh, you think I've that's s- fake? I don't know. But don't you think everything's conspiracies? Copper yeah. can straight up talk to these guys. But right. I mean, all right. I don't know if he wants to be a pet. Well, there's that TV show, the guy, the whisperer. Dog whisperer? Yeah, he could talk to him. The that goblin doesn't mean whisperer. I can. Yeah. Right. So, Essentially, Copper's a goblin. So, in, in this moment, though, right now, you got a goblin just withering, just trying to right. get away from you. What do you, you got to deal with him in, that, in this moment? I need Copper over here. Are you, okay, so are you, so roll a strength check to see if you could just hold him for this round while it, until it gets to Copper. All right. Would you, Fucking would, 19. What's going to prevent yeah. this goblin from slitting your throat while you sleep? Because I'm saving his life. A little Smeagol. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, 19. yeah, you, you outstrength them. You're, you're just holding them. He can't do it. He can't. Get, yeah. get Walter you, so has multiple times tried to slit my throat while I sleep. Yeah. Multiple so, times. So then it's Lorelai's turn after He's yours. Two and a half pounds. That's what I want. I want what, what Doc has. <laughs> He's All right, six looking pounds. around. Come on. Um, I'm oh, sorry, man. I feel like the one that's going to go to the left, no one's going to be able to touch. So I'm going to try to get him as he's running. Okay. I Whoa, imagine I that was you're all that peace and love. Shot. I'm not about peace and love. He ate a horse. <laughs> that, that's that's the one. In my head, that's the one JTT he's, shot. I'm pretty so sure they were doing weak. some nefarious things mm. here. You didn't know. We have to take him to trial. Rick, I don't mean, tell him we've ate horse. <laughs> we've ate raw horse. <laughs> no, that's for real. Like or Chuck I could and Trent. Just not attack him. Just keep them all as slaves. I mean, it was raw horse with little apple bits. So that's, and some that's egg. more moral. And a raw egg. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, all right. Are there any attacking us? I feel like half of them there are dead goes. and the other half are running away. That's exactly it. So it's up to you. There's one hobgoblin that's going out. You can to the keep left, them if you want. That JTT shot in the back. There's one going south that is kind of passing you and Orc Haffington and Doc. Uh, he's full health. He hasn't done anything. He's just running by you. And then in Orc Haffington's arms is a wiggling goblin. Uh, Don't kill my pet. I think that's about all the last of the goblins. I think yeah, all the others are just dead. We can dead. find you a better pet. I don't have any options right now. We had that owl bear that you guys wouldn't let me keep. I'm just saying. I want to keep a couple. So, so what's right. Lorelai doing? Um, you know what? I'm looking at this lawfully. Okay, so they had a dragonborn captured. They ate a horse. I feel like they were up to no good. I'm just going to do it. Roll. Rolling to, to shoot the one running far away. All right. Oh, oh poo-poo. 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 Lame. Uh, and finally turned more like well, she's a murderer, yeah, just like us. Yeah. Oh. Twelve uh, overall. Never use inspiration, inspiration, right? right? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't hit. That doesn't hit. Ah. Oh, 
audio we just want to shit. Blame pet. Something <laughs> happened with the audio. We blame Brandon. I mean, always blame me, right? <laughs> There's, There's something, something crazy happening. What, what is it? I think she sounds bad. Heck. Eh. Fix. Told, uh, we were told it's fixed. Eh, 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 go. Olsen, can you guys hear Legend, Legend of Zelda, Zelda right, right now? now. That's, That's what, what that, that looks like. like. Look, look, at, look at the, the background, background on Colt. Colt. Don't, Don't bait me to say I hate Legend of Zelda. Zelda. That's time the whole audience turned on me. Back again. Not fixed. Not fixed. Better. It's fine. Brother Never mind. Loves Link. <laughs> Chuck is Echo. Chuck is Echo. <laughs> Chuck Echo. Not fixed? Oh, my goodness. All right. I don't, I don't trust, trust these motherfuckers. Back to echoing. Lies. Lies. Is it something through OBS or is it Probably. one of our mics? Hello. Players are echoing. Brandon is fine. Colt screwed it up. I didn't screw I, anything up. How would you screw it up? I'm fiddling around with the options. That's why it's going bad and good and bad and good, because I'm trying to see if I need to fix it in Zoom or if I need to fix it in OBS. I'm just partying. The right, right. Right. good. So wait, all right. Well, you got a pizza hat? Copper's going next anyway, like so it? Copper. I want to... Uh, oh, you're loud. I want to... Um, uh, take... I'm going to drop the uh, leader... And I want to step on his face as I walk over to Colt that's holding the goblin in his in his arms. What's his name? Thank you. Uh, I have a name. Half I don't, yeah, Halfy. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna say to him. I'm gonna say, "What do you want me to say to this guy again?" Just be like, spell it out. Hey, dude, we're gonna fucking murder everyone here. You have the opportunity to like. Just be a cute little goblin pet for... All right, I got it. I want to look at the goblin, and in goblin, I want to say, did you just see what I did to your fearless leader? Now, understand, look at the rest of my friends. Did I freeze? Yeah. How do you know? How do you know he froze? Because Eric, because I see everybody else frozen. Um, oh. I want to say, uh, if you don't listen to what this half-orc tells you to do, the same will happen to you. And I take my dagger and I and I flip it in the air and catch it on the blade side. Ooh, Jesus and then, Christ! And then tap him on the, and then tap him on the forehead and say, "Did you hear what I said?" Damn, I'm intimidated. Yeah. Oh, ten plus three, thirteen. Now I'll keep that one. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon, there's the chat saying you're muted. All right. Oh, okay. Okay, take. Take what's in the, the tents. It's I can help. I can help you. I'm I'm yours now. Can you make him talk cuter? I can talk like I heard others talking. Uh, is this help? So maybe like I'm not the dungeon master. Maybe like a higher voice, a higher voice. Uh, is this help? I, I can't go any higher. That's good. <laughs> okay, I talk like this now. That's good. Uh, all right. That's good. Uh, then Doc, I mean, you guys can kind of go out of order at this moment now. I'll say like, the, unless you're trying to get those hobgoblins, but up to you guys if you want to just nah. start. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, the Dark Order, or the Dark Order. Whoa! <laughs> I was so going to say I the cast... Doc. Otherwise, Doc could just go. I cast Entangle on Evil Uno. Ooh, there you go. Uh... <laughs> are, are you going to do it on one of those hobgoblins? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck up one of these goblins for sure. All right. Not mine. Get him. Get him. I'm going <laughs> to... Pop a quick. Let's do a. Uh, sorry, <laughs> stop. I didn't pop. I didn't pop. Uh, I'm gonna get a fog cloud on one of the goblins. Nice. Fog, fog cloud, fog cloud okay. light cloud on on oh. one of the hobgoblins, right? Cole, you're breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, on which one? On the one that JTT is shot in the back with the magic missile, or the one that's going south that's running? The one that's running. Okay. Um, 
So yeah, it's it's just pretty much heavily obscured around him. You can't tell where he's going currently. As you yeah. as you hit that, yeah, he's a little confused. Um, okay, and then it's their turns. Let's see if he kind of. No, he's too scared. So, yeah, you, you. I mean, you did a cloud. I don't even think you can really see through it, right? Yeah, it's heavily obscured. So yeah, you hit a cloud going there. Um, and then the other hobgoblin that got uh, shot going on the left side of the map, he's. He's bolted. He's out of out of sight at the moment. And then, I mean, now I, it's up to you guys of who who wants to just go. We can kind of go freely because there's not really any more order when there's no one around. You guys want to check out what's in these tents before we talk to the uh, the green man? I want to merc these fools, man. Merc them. They got merc me. We've been through this before. It means kill them. We're going to oh. kill all these guys before they go away and bring more of their friends. Not mine. I'm, I'm going to start looking in the, the tents for uh, something good. For me. Some stuff. I think I think Turtle Man should should murder somebody. It just ran away. Let's get blood on his little turtle hands. I mean, you only have that one goblin that's with you. Mm. Right? And then he's just kind of like... He'll we should cook and eat him. You. We should cook and eat the other goblin. Um, my god you, you see yes. kind of waking up on that post no, ew. is that, I'm that hungry. green i'm hungry they, they, they I'm ate the horse goblin that Peter, green I'm dragonborn I mean, i'm hungry jt talk to money? dragonborn yeah that we, eat a ration. we have rations with us <laughs> oh, those are gross as you, as you guys are kind of like chit chatting you, you see the green dragonborn kind of coming too and waking up his face hey, is kind of all beat him up. <laughs> his face oh, and sorry, body's kind of bleeding he's got a little blood you know stained on his uh his his lips and his cheeks and stuff um, you see, like, he's got gashes on his leg, like a, a, a currently open, like, gash uh, on, like, say, his calf and stuff. Uh, and he's looking at you guys like, please, help me. Untie me. Hold on one second, guys. Let's get everything he knows out of him and then cook him and eat him. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I want to give, give him Undertaker. But I'm in for the investigation. <laughs> cut the throat unless he like unless he offers like he we have to follow him on a, a big uh quest or something that brandon planned <laughs> i want to uh, i want to go, i want to the first things first i want to go over ginger snap right. and uh, lightly caress ginger snap and just whisper in ginger snap's ear don't worry everything's okay daddy's home yeah as you say it's very comforting for ginger snap like kind of like comes up uh, with you uh, I want well, copper. I want copper to tell the other horse why he didn't name it. <laughs> why he only named one of them. <laughs> you don't get to choose what he does, man. I want him to tell. I, I'm asking him. I'm saying, oh, copper, okay. please. Okay. Tell the other horse why it doesn't have a name, and tell the other horse why it's dead now. <laughs> and I roll a. I roll a seventeen. Wait, you want him to tell a dead horse why it's dead? <laughs> yes. I'm not, I'm not sure. I need to know. I'm not sure. I, I'm. I'm I, I don't know what I need to do. <laughs> you don't, roll this, a this, 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 to tell the horse why it's just dead. This is just role play. You don't have to roll anything. You can, this, you can decide what your character says back to him. Okay. <laughs> uh, but Doc Martin and JTT, you guys kind of notice. Um, that the the green dragonborn's trying to like get the attention of your little goblin friend. Hey, hey untie me! Oh, untie me! Wait, they have a goblin friend too? No, oh, he's trying to get yours. your goblin friend to untie him. Yeah, but I've got him in a stranglehold. Oh, you're still holding him? Yeah, of yeah. course. All right. I have <laughs> I have ten sheets of parchment paper or nine because of my drawing. I want to take one of the parchment papers and I want to wrap up a horse to take with me to eat later. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna get some off of like the table. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you do it. You, you just cool. like a like a butcher shop. You just roll it. <laughs> I start walking to the dragonborn. Me too. Right. So I can investigate him. Okay. Interrogate him. You see, he's got kind of nothing on him. He's he's. I'm gonna like, just. I'm gonna say to him, "Hey, man, what happened?" Like exactly. his shirt that was on him is like just shredded. It's got the cool like superhero shred. Like you know, it's. Looks like a tank top that has one one uh, shoulder on still. It's all shredded <laughs> open and stuff. He's bleeding. Um, you know, he's just kind of like got some some spit and blood drooling from his mouth. He goes, oh, I, was, "I was getting away on your horses, and they uh they caught me in the middle of the forest while I was sleeping. 
they kept torturing me and they kept saying delete my horse in front of me I don't give a I don't care about these horses and then those slap guys, slap hold on slap him slap him I keep going I want to name the other horse Johnny the other horse's name is Johnny Johnny and Ginger Snap and I take my little pet and I grab his hand and I slap fucking that asshole with the guy's <laughs> hand with the goblin's hand <laughs> yeah, oh said, my God. You pick him up and slap him with the goblin. <laughs> Fine, do do whatever you want. Hey, they did way worse last night. You think these slaps and he like spits in Rick's eyes and he's gonna spit oh. on uh, Hor Hork Haffington's eyes too. Yeah. And it's like this? spitting blood. If this was if he had COVID, you guys got right? it. In the age of COVID, I'll man, do don't that. do it. Yeah. Mm. Wait, but Can I, I do a COVID check? My goblin slapped him. And then you say that he spits in the goblin's face too. Then little gobby. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Hey, hey Brent, I want to I go over to the uh, to the dead uh, the dead leader uh, hobgoblin leader. Yeah. Is there any of his armor I can steal and wear on on my body? Um, there's like it's gonna be the same. I don't know what you have, but it's like it's leather armor. That's what it's classified as, but it just has a, a different look to it. If you just want to look like you're a hobgoblin warlord, nah. I want to cut off his ear and then fashion a necklace as a trophy. All right. Good. Yeah, you're spending some time doing that right now. I want to take the other one. Nice. The other ear. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, Doc Martin has that thing. You could do stuff out of bones and whatnot. Ooh. I'm gonna ask the green guy his name. Yeah, he's not giving us any information. If he doesn't give any, I don't want to know us where any he information, going. let's just kill him. No, what's his name and where was he going? As I'm uh, Barnaby, I was making my way back to Ironhaven. Make up with my group. Okay, we're gonna cook you and eat you. Wait, Unless I want to ask. <laughs> I want to ask who his daddy is and what he does. Who is your father? What does he do? <laughs> uh, oh, so Can you tell him? Tell him I said we're gonna cook and eat him unless he tells us a secret. Yeah, go secret. ahead. Send me. Send me so to the mother. I got so much on that one. So much. <laughs> so what were you gonna do when you got to the Iron Haven? He goes, go ahead. Send me to the mother. As in, you 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 catch like that's the kind of who he probably worships. Or, I mean, maybe, I don't know, you could read it as maybe he thinks he's going back to mama. What do you think? Do we take him with us? Like, tie him up as a slave? No, nah, eat him. I got parchment yeah. paper. We could wrap him up and take him to go. Should we cook and eat him? And that's... I'm in. I'm trying to look at Brandon's face. Uh. How much this is messing hey, up. Because <laughs> I could, uh... Or I could take you uh, safely to Iron Haven and Get you into the, get you back into town safely. Hey, Lorelai, do you know how to get to Iron Haven for me? I can maybe do a perception check, see if I do. All right, because I really want to eat this dude. He, not, said, I think we he all said he could get us in there safely. About fifteen can't get into any town. to know where maybe Iron Haven is from here. Yeah, you. You're not completely confident, but you feel like your skills could probably get you there. So, could you take us to your lair hideout secret mm -hmm. meeting? Let's say take place? us to your leader. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you guys, you guys uh, were the ones that this hobgoblin had a, a poster of, huh? You guys are wanted in town, aren't you? Shit. Mm -hmm. And he's like kind of that's pointing to us. that main tent of like, yeah, he was showing your poster around. A whole camp got a good sight of that. You guys got a pretty good uh, price on your head back in town. Well, Brandy, Brandy, can I see the poster in the tent where I'm standing? Um, you, it's like on a table, so you could see like it looks like a classic reward thing. Cool, cool. I want to take the poster off the table. Yeah. I want to walk over to the green dragon. I want to. I want to say, "Oh, this poster." Hold it up to his shoulder and then stab the dagger through the poster. Ooh, in the nice. Hit what? <laughs> in the shoulder. His shoulder. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, all in favor of cooking and eating this guy. No. And then taking so, yeah, yeah, you stab it. Ah! We and he's like kind of like slumping down again, like he's like he's lost a lot of blood throughout the, the last night to now. And he uh, and you could kind of see it too of when you stab the poster on him, 
uh, you notice it's um, it's really you that's on it, uh, Copper, uh, not not the rest of the the guys. It's very clearly a guy with some shades who has a very distinct look. <laughs> Uh, that it's you, and it's for 10,000 gold pieces. I vote oh. to sell out copper but, immediately for the 10,000 pieces. The, no. nose, the nose doesn't no. look right. Everything else looks just like you. Just, what does it yeah, say we're wanted for, look. exactly? Is it wanted wait, for wait, wait, the nose doesn't the nose doesn't look right? Yeah, the nose is a little off on it. <laughs> what is he wanted for? Uh, multiple murders is kind of like the... the M&M? Yeah, he's, he's wanted for M&M. Hmm. Yeah. Does, this, does this guy have any more secrets he wants to tell us? Because we're going to eat. Yeah, right I mean, now he's kind of like just like wincing from I am that, not a cannibal. that blade that he's like he's kind of like about to pass out from it. Does he know All about right. Ulosh? Uh, I've never heard of that. Is that fire still going? That pit fire? It, it could get like rekindled again. It's like kind of still Is there, smolting. I'll, I'll take. I'm just gonna touch his blood and fling some of it into the uh, the embers. Yeah, as yeah. you do that, does he you know hear, about Tiamat? You hear, Just for my leader. You hear Ulash go, yes, more blood. Raise your status. And then, oh, so then Doc, you say that. Do you know about Tiamat? Oh, is that, does he know about Tiamat? Yeah, he goes, yeah, that's, uh, that's the mother. She's the queen of all chromatic dragons. Oh, shit. I, uh, I don't want to say that. <laughs> I was going to call her a whore and see what this guy does. Yeah, I did that. All right, here, say it. She's a whore. She's a dragon mother. What are you going to do? Uh, he just kind of like tries to come at you, and he just winces again from like the dagger in his shoulder, uh, and he just spits at your feet this time. Those are Slap shoes. Him. Oh, those are Slap bird him. feet. I don't give a shit. Slap him for spitting. Slap his mouth. It's disgusting. Slap his mouth. <laughs> I, I already slapped. I'll, I'll slap him. All right, yeah, you slap I'll him. Slap him. He's just kind of like looking, kind of somewhat defeated now, looking down, and he's just starting to go into like a prayer to the to Tiamat. I want to go investigate uh, the other hobgoblin tent. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go with him. Hey, here you Me go. Me too. Roll, roll uh, the D12 that you never get to roll. Whoever wants to investigate some of these things, roll a D12. Oh yeah, I want to investigate the whole camp. Okay. Yeah, six, six Brandon. This whole thing. I want to investigate. What'd you get? I rolled a six. Me too. Oh, two six. I got a, All right. I got a seven. I rolled a six also. I got a twelve. Ah, oh, three sixes. Ah, <laughs> Ulash. Uh, Sign of the Ulash. Does that work? Six and no. six and six. A seven. What was the other other number? Because I hear about I a, oh, three sixes. 12. A twelve. Ooh, nice. Yeah. So you see, um, in one of them is like nice armor, uh, like chainmail armor. Yeah, on the 12 for you. Uh, it's in decent condition. It looks pretty cool as well. Um, the people that got some sixes, you guys are finding in one of the tents. This guy was like the strategist. Uh, you just see a bunch of like books on like of like war tactics and like um, like just leader tactics and things. Like this guy is more like the book type um, of like learning how to like fight. Um, you know, different fighting strategies and styles and whatnot. How to be a captain and things. Um, and then what was the other random number? Was a seven? Seven. So you, seven. you find a couple of things. You see a necklace of teeth in one of the uh, things of like all kinds of different animal teeth there. Um, and then also in a cage is a raven in there. I want to take the raven cage. Let me get that. I can make shit out of bones, man. Give it to me. You want the bird or the teeth necklace? All of it, man. I can make stuff out of bones. I'm cool as fuck. Uh, is the raven alive? Uh, yeah, it, it, you you kind of yeah. already know it's a messenger. He's a raven. pet, right? He lives in Atlanta. He's kind of cranky. He thinks all wrestling sucks. <laughs> let's, uh, let's yeah, keep... you, you you notice it's a messenger raven. I want to keep the bird, and I'll give the teeth necklace to Doc. Okay. So I want to give more out of the books and say I know how much you love reading. All right, write that stuff down, or you guys a sheet too, because I won't remember who got what. Okay. Thank you. Got a cheap book. Hey, can I put wear this armor right now? Uh, the chainmail, yeah. Yeah. What's it do for me? Uh, let me see. It might up your armor class. Yeah. So it is heavy armor. 
what you're currently wearing. You got light armor or medium armor, so then, yeah, this one would be a heavy armor. So the advantage is it would raise your armor class, but then anytime you try and stealth, like, you're real noisy. So you'd be rolling mm. disadvantage on stealth stuff if you're ever trying to be sneaky. Hey, okay. you just stealth stuff to me. Yeah, what does the armor do? Yeah, I'm not doing stealth. I don't know stealth bird. He's obviously a bird. Look at him. Yeah, and, like, you, you notice also as a barbarian, you do better when you're le wearing less armor. Oh, really? Yeah. So I, I should just skip it? Yeah, it's up to you. Maybe, you, maybe you, you could take it and, like, still have it as, like, an item yeah, yeah, that okay. you take and whatnot. We'll do it, and, we'll uh, do it another time. I don't know if you guys will maybe ever sell, sell anything. I can't imagine you being civil enough to sell something, but... I'll take some armor. <laughs> there you go. No. <laughs> Right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> well, you need to make sure you can wear it because as a spellcaster, spellcasters can't really wear armor as much oh, as really? fighters. Yeah. I feel like now's a bad time to just bring bring it on my armor. <laughs> so late in the night, we had uh, we got this story going, you know. I want to jump on. I want to. I want to mount Ginger Snap. All right, easily. Feels like good old times for you, Copper. I just want to. I just want to ride around the perimeter. Just, just want to give a good, good, good ride around. All right. I'm gonna pop on Johnny too. I'm gonna pop on Johnny. There you go. This oh, is, this is looking wait, like a music Johnny? video now. I told I you the JTT. other horse is named Johnny. Johnny. I look at JTT. So what should we do? Should we head to town? What's the dance like horse's is, name? I feel like this is where we should head to. But I don't know. What do you okay. think we should do? I lagged a minute. Did we do anything with the dragonborn on the stake? He's still no, there. What do you, what do you he still do? has the dagger with the wanted note on his shoulder. Oh, sorry, Brain. I want to take the dagger out before I get on Ginger Snap. My bad. All right. I want to burn him alive on the stake, Wait, guys. Wait, let's, let's chop his hands off and take his hands. We can, like, threaten other dragonborns with it or whatever. Yep. Is that a thing? Or whatever. I mean, I, hey, I'm not going to stop him from doing it. <laughs> I want to, so I want to chop his hands off and put his hands in my bag. All right, so you're gonna go do that? Yes. All I'm right. Go over there. I'm gonna chop his hands off and I'm gonna put them in my bag. Yeah. Let it's... that turtle run loose. Make I mean, sure he's tied like at first. his like hands and Good wrists point. and stuff. So as you, I mean, it's it's a horror movie kind of like graphic thing. He's yelling as you're you're just sawing through and whatnot. Uh, yeah. I don't know unless you're chop. I don't know. However you do it, you get the hands off. <laughs> you put them in your bag. <laughs> What and this mean, guy's just you You're the dungeon master. He's screaming. I don't know. Do you want me to get that descriptive? No. Yeah, right? Let's no. let's just keep it going. You got the hands. The guy's just on the floor screaming in agony. Um, and he's not really tied up anymore because, I mean, how are you going to tie some nubs up? So, but he's still just laying the on the neck. floor, and he's looking at his nubs just screaming. <laughs> Can I, like, javelin spit roast this guy? Yeah. Get, let's get the fire going. Hold somebody hold him down. Let's get this fire going. Let's let's roast him. All right. Are like, we gonna you... are we gonna bring him into town to to show other dragonborns not to mess with us? No, we have his hands for We got his hands to do that show. Oh, well, they can... All right. I'm starting to like fire. He's, he's I, more valuable it, cool? alive. All right, yeah, you're no. starting to re up on the fire. As a, this as guy, a bard. This guy kind of just passes out from just losing so much blood. Mm -hmm. He's just out on the floor. Can I slap him to wake him up? He's not. He's not waking up. <laughs> okay. Can I just put my javelin, uh, kind of through him from asshole to mouth? Yep. All right. Yeah, so you do it. <laughs> can somebody help just spit roasting this guy? Yeah. Can somebody help pick me up? Pick him up with me. I'll help. No. I'll help Thanks, JTT. No problem. <laughs> and I guess we kind of twist. I'm babysitting. As you're doing it, uh, you hear Ulos just loving this, though. He's just like, yes, yes. This makes up for your bitch ass not chasing those others. <laughs> <laughs> I say out loud, thank you, Ulos. Yeah. Um, Who are you talking to, right? <laughs> Ulos. Uh, after I put my blood in the fire three months ago, he's been um, kind of harassing in, me. In, in his sense. head, yeah. This whole time? Yeah, yeah, he talks to me when I kill people. <laughs> he loves it so it's been well, good it's been great that's so tell him i say hello staying okay. and healthy for us 
All right. How's this cooking coming along? Are we done? Uh, you tell me. I mean, you cook them as long as you feel that's right. <laughs> How do you guys want the meat? Uh, rare. Oh. Medium okay. well. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's done. Perfect for everyone's choice. I got to feed my little goblin, too. So. Hell yeah. <laughs> While they're eating, while they're being in, cannibals, boys? can I like walk around to see if I can find any like tracks or investigate the area or something? I'm not a cannibal. I'm a lizard. Yeah, as we're not see, eating lizard. Well, as, you're as eating you a dragon. See, uh, around like the the track, oh, you see the tracks of these, close, um, right. these uh, hobgoblins did go running off and whatnot. Um, you you kind of see that they probably met up at a different uh, zone and then just from from your kind of sense of direction, you're like that's probably where town or another civilization something might be nice okay yeah all right let's eat up boys <laughs> yum yum <laughs> there you go so whoever chooses to indulge uh, indulges <laughs> i'm not gonna eat it what I'm the eating. fuck dude he's a vegan <laughs> i'll eat it I'm not, a, I'm not a vegan i just don't i don't i don't prefer uh dragonborn mm. How does the meat taste? Is there well, a, let's see. Everyone that ate it, everyone that ate it, roll a d20 for me. Really? Yeah. We'll do some let's constitution see if we get sick or saving something? throws. Yeah. Uh oh. I got a four. I got a two. I got an eight. What do I? I got a six. <laughs> so everyone under ten, then, yeah. This is bad meat. Yeah. <laughs> I cooked them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> kind of all at the same time, you guys all start projectile vomiting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he did not. Cr so, Brandon, as I see that, he did not cr cook it. Correctly. As I see that, <laughs> as I see that, I want to. I want to take. I want to eat a piece of it. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the constitution. It was a fresh kill. How did I not cook it right? <laughs> And I got six. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He, does the, he, he tries it and about the same time passes, 30 seconds to a minute. Boom. Uncontrollably. <laughs> oh, he was a poison lizard. Oh, my God. Right? Should... His power was poison. I'm just watching them puke, shaking my head. Yeah, they're all Like a really just, disappointed mom. They're all just oh, vomiting. <laughs> Oh, my little I hope you learned your lesson. I hope you learned your lesson. We oh, <laughs> well, a couple of you guys switched around now, <laughs> uh, and we'll say just the vomiting team is maybe where we'll end for tonight's uh, session. Just what an ending! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it happens while you guys are riding on Copper and Johnny too. <laughs> you guys are just riding. <laughs> Going around. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger snap. Uh, so much puke. All right, yeah. I would say that's a pretty good ending for uh, the episode tonight. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for tuning in <laughs> to Critical Botch, where the wrestlers role play and roll dice. We'll see you guys in probably another two weeks. Oh. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.